Hello and welcome to Cadwell Park. I'm Michael Mann for Bike Social. On this gorgeous sunny day, um, we're here for the Bennett's Customer Track Day and I am equipped with a BMW S1000RR. Now, I've done a fair few track days before and I'm, I'm able to run as a, as a, on average pace in the fast group. Well, we're giving the same equipment to the 2016 British Super Stock Champion, Taylor McKenzie. And we're going to see how we get on lap time versus lap time. Taylor, thanks for joining me. Thanks, Michael. Welcome to Bike Social. We're here at Cadwell Park, a tight, a twisty, a narrow circuit. Let's be honest, you are clearly going to be faster than I am. Uh, but where do you think that, that advantage is going to be? Where, where's the gain? I've done a lot of riding here. And so as a result of that, you kind of learn a, lot, a few little tricks. So I guess I'll use more track in places, um, which will let me brake a bit later and accelerate a bit harder and probably just a bit braver and stupider in other places where you might not be because you're probably a bit more sensible than I am. <laughs> so I guess that's where it'll, where it'll be. Good. All right, mate. Well, let's go and, um, let's go and see how these things perform. So look who we bumped into, Rory Reid, Top Gear. Welcome, Rory. Michael. A little bird tells me it's your first time on track. It is, yeah. Um, about eight weeks ago, I was still on L-plates. No way. Um, and I've learned to ride on the road, got my license, and thought, you know what? I want to go fast in a safe way, so I better get myself a track day. And I've you know, come up here, and I'm trying out this uh, S1000 RR and see what it can do. Man, that's a baptism of five. Got 200 on horsepower right here, you know. I know, yeah. I know, I know, yeah. Um, I've been out already and coming up the mountain, I really surprised myself because I left the throttle open a bit too long and the front wheel came up about what felt like six feet in the air. Uh, it was probably about six inches, but it just felt like the most amazing feeling. It was great. If you can master Cadwell, you'll be all right everywhere else. Yeah, there's a lot going on. It's very narrow as well. So everywhere you go, even on the straights, it feels like you're in a tunnel and everything's coming at you at 400 miles an hour. I mean, it's, it's a great challenge and that's what I enjoy the most is kind of learning, pushing myself and just enjoying it along the way. So you're coming off the track, you're buzzing, you want to get more and more. This is clearly not going to be your first and last track day. No, definitely not. No, um, I can't wait to get back out there. As soon as you guys stop rolling, <laughs> I'm heading back out. But yeah, and just pushing myself a little bit more. Brilliant. Well, thanks for coming along and uh, good luck. Cool. Cheers, Michael. Cheers, man. Take it easy. So good day, bud. We, um, we've happened to uh, strap a V-Box uh, data logger to the bike. Um, and we used the same bike and we've been out on the track and we had a session each in which we had to set our fastest lap. First things first, British Superstock were here recently and they, the guys who were sort of towards the back of the grid, what sort of times are they running? Uh, they're about one minute 35-ish. Okay. So on an absolute standard bike, Taylor, your best time was 138.07. Quite happy with that. I'll take that. I'm waiting for a good reaction. You're happy yeah, with that? Yeah, That's not too bad compared, be to a, compared to a full Superstock race bike. Yeah. And, uh, and according to the data, you were incredibly consistent as well. Laps four, five, six, and seven are consistent. Four tenths between laps four and five, just two tenths between laps five and six. Brilliant. Now then, on to me. The guy that's been analyzing the data starts with the word, unfortunately, <laughs> which is never a good sign. So a 10 second a lap time difference. I think that's a good job. I'm all right with that. Yeah. I think if I'd have if I'd have been guessing before we came here today, I, I, I'd have guessed at 10 seconds a lap. Yeah. I'm all right with that. I'm comfortable. But you know, over a 15 lap race, you all you'd have lapped me, wouldn't you? Yeah. Uh, the most obvious difference is, and this is an interesting part. So you're braking harder and later, and by the time you're braking, it's somewhere but anywhere between five and 10 miles an hour at each braking point increase. So just like you said before we even went out, it's 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 you being 
braver on the brakes, it's been more aggressive on the brakes later and just carrying much more corner speed ultimately. Yeah, it's just a, I guess it's a confidence thing which I kind of knew, especially around here, it's such a tight and twisty track that the more laps you're doing, the more confident you get with a bike. Um, and I guess it feels a bit slow for me when I'm riding at this speed, so that's, uh, there's even more confidence comes from that really. Well, so long as you've enjoyed yourself, I have. And I'm sure that everybody else in the fast group and the medium group and the uh, novice group uh, have enjoyed themselves as well. Um, you can read that full review at bikesocial.co.uk.